Now, chances are, if you're not getting many sales on platforms like Etsy or Shopify, your mock-ups are just really boring. Because if you think about it, the mock-up images in your listing are sort of the only glimpse that a potential customer gets into what the products might look like once they've ordered them. That's why in this video, to help you out, I'm going to show you how to create premium quality mockups that actually stand out in your listings to help you increase your conversion rates and get more sales on platforms where you can pick your own mockups. And I'm going to do this by using the Vexos mockup generator, which from my experience is one of the best within the print on demand space. And it's also really easy to use. Something very important to note just before we get started is that Vexos is currently having a black Friday sale is going to last until the 30th of November, where you can get up to 55% off on their lifetime and annual plans. There's something additional that they've offered for my subscribers, and that is if you purchase a Vexel subscription during the Black Friday deal through my link, then you will be automatically entered into a raffle or a draw, you could call it. One of the people that have signed up will get a full refund on the subscription. They get to keep the subscription, but you basically get to keep it for free. This is very, very good because, well, my channel, if you haven't noticed, isn't really that big. You will probably, if you sign up to Vexos, be in a very small group of people and have a high chance or a higher chance than on a bigger channel to actually get your money back or get the subscription for free. So definitely take advantage of that. If you've already been thinking about getting Vexos, then right now is the cheapest time in the year and you might also get a refund. I hope that helps you out and let's get started with the mock-ups. So here we are on the Vexels homepage and just in case you don't know what uh, Vexels is, if you've never heard of them, I did make a video before basically walking you through their website, showing you the different tools and features and telling you what they're all about. So make sure to watch that video if you haven't seen it already. But in this one, we're going to focus on the mockup generator, which you can find up here in the toolbar. Just click on to mockup generator and let it load up. I am probably going to have to hide my face because behind it is the categories option right here. So it will open up with a random mockup, but if you click browse categories, then you get all of the different options uh, that Vexels has to offer. Most of them are merch or clothing related, over a thousand designs right here, which is just a massive abundance of really nice mockups, which I'm going to go into in a minute here. But I also wanted to show you what's hidden behind these other sections because it can be really useful. So branding uh, might not sound relevant, but there is sticker mockups in here, as well as some posters which could be useful. Uh, this one, for example, really pops. I think that could stand out within uh, Etsy search results. For example, if I go back and show you the devices, there's not too much in here that is useful for POD, but um, if you're selling custom phone cases with pattern overlays or that sort of stuff, then these can definitely be handy. Um, I don't think many people do that, but it is an option. Food and drink, we've got mugs and water bottles, which is a very popular sort of category to sell in. I sell a lot of mugs on Etsy. I think I sell more mugs than I do sell t-shirts and I have sold a few water bottles in the past as well. So these mock-ups are definitely very useful. Some of them are sort of occasion themed as well, which is really handy. Like these ones look like Valentine's Day. And then we've got some autumn themed ones, Halloween's. Vexels definitely has a massive array of different options for lots of different topics and niches. Signs and billboards. This once again has some posters in here, some of which are on the wall as well. That's always really good to have some sort of the scenery so that people can imagine what it will look like in their house. And seasonal, here you can filter by different um, sort of seasonal holidays. We've got Halloween with lots of different product types. And we've also got Christmas, which is obviously quite relevant now. So you've got a mug there, hoodie, t-shirt and much more. So that's it for these smaller categories, which are already really, really good. And I've used a lot in the past. I've also used these in my thumbnails. You might recognize some of these mock-up images from my thumbnails if you're a regular viewer, but let's head to the merch and clothing section. So here, We've got a lot of filters at the top for different product types. You can also filter by woman if you have a female centric shop, but I'm just going to filter this by t-shirts and then scroll down to the bottom because there's so many mockups here. I like to just load them all up and then look through top to bottom. There's some really nice ones at the bottom. So yeah, I'm going to get back to you in a minute once this has loaded. Right, so now that I've arrived at the bottom of the t-shirt mockups, I scroll up slowly and basically you want to notice there is various types. There's people doing different hobbies like this one could be useful for cycling niches, this one for photography niches, this one gaming, and there's way more options if you scroll up. But um, if you found a mockup that you really like the look of, 
just click on it and this one also looks quite decent could work well on Etsy and you basically want to upload your design over here on the left on this blue upload button I'm just going to pick a graphic that I found on Vexels of a cat eating Raymond once it's loaded you can move it around with your mouse and you can use this slide up here to scale it up and down in size you could also rotate it um, which I don't know why you'd want to do that, but maybe if your design is a bit crooked, you can adjust it so it looks more realistic for the print. As you can see, all of these sort of creases in the t-shirt look extremely realistic in terms of the design that's being overlaid. This is one of the reasons why I really like the Vexels mockup generator is because it actually looks extremely real. One important feature as well on the left right here in this toolbar is the color option. So you can customize the color of your shirt if you want to sell black t-shirts. There's also the Merch by Amazon product colors right here as presets not that you can change the mock-ups on there unfortunately but you could use these as sort of a guide this specific shirt is like a heather fabric so it looks a little bit different but you get the idea you can use this slider to change this to any color that you want and one of the most impressive features or most fun features in my opinion is this one over here on the left so if you click that you can change the scenery of your mock-up behind the t-shirt so if i click on the next one you can see that all of the objects have changed and you get lots of different variations here so if you want to make your shop look really professional then have a variation of this mock-up along the rows different designs but different variations of a very similar mock-up can definitely look extremely professional and this is just one example they also have cool ones where the background changes entirely i'll just show you an example with this woman over here which has this sort of uh, ripped background right here wall and if you once again click on this symbol again you can see that there's lots of various options in terms of the wall she's standing in front of you can also just have a clean gray background you could have this shutter door thing this is a really nice wall option i think that looks cool and i think you get the idea there's massive amounts of customization when it comes to these vexels mock-ups so here we've got a few mock-up images of a woman in a really sort of summary scenery which i quite like to use as well so i'll just show you this example with a different design you can just x right here to delete your previous one hit upload again and then choose a new design to upload as you can see this white t-shirt color does not really work for this design so once again head over to the color option right here and change this to black or navy or whatever suits and the size is a bit extreme so if we adjust this a little bit it does look really nice like that um, amazing scenery it's also blurred out with which once again makes it look really professional if you use this in uh, one of your listings it uh, definitely stands out and pops gives a really happy feeling and it's way more convincing to a customer than just a basic t-shirt on like a white background which is just really boring as you can see right here there's some more examples of different sort of niche centric mock-up images we've got this guy who's running um, we've got him, him cycling as well there's basketball examples if you've got sporty niches then some of these mock-ups might be useful there's another one of him with a bike so you've got different options as well you don't just have to use the same image for all of your cycling designs you can actually use a variation of them if I scroll up a bit further through these, you can see that there's sometimes also mock-ups where two people are in them. So essentially, if you want to make a couple's matching outfit, there's more similar ones here on the right hand side, um, just for your inspiration. But if you want to have a couple's matching design selling on Etsy in the same listing, then you can just have the photo really match well in terms of having two images selected right here i know this is not couples matching um, but just so you get an idea this is what it could look like the same goes for the food and drink section so here you've got singular mugs or water bottles but also if we scroll down a bit there is two in one image which uh, i've done that in the past where i've just uploaded two mugs or sold two mugs in one listing and they're sort of either couples matching or two matching designs in the same niche which is really handy to sort of get more sales and one goal because people do really like buying bundles you also get that option in the signs and billboards i think yeah you can basically choose one of these mock-ups right here where you then have two designs two separate posters selling in one go or even there's options for three posters at once which i know with these designs doesn't really work but you get the idea i think you can once again change the scenery around here it changes the color which does look really nice and one more thing I wanted to show you is that with this mock-up, which I pointed out earlier, if you actually change the scenery here, you get different fruit and different color combinations. Uh, and I think the top one with the purple and yellow color combo 
could be really, really good for standing out in search results because uh, if you didn't know, yellow and purple are complementary colors, which uh, is sort of a psychological trick to get people's attention. It's also red and green, I think, that work really well together, and orange and blue. So if you ever want to like get someone's attention, you might notice it in advertising as well. Often like packaging design might have those colors together, like blue and orange. You see that quite often. So just a quick tip there um, for these background images right here in terms of the posters. One more thing that I should have probably mentioned a bit earlier is that once you're happy with your mock-up image, just head up to this green button, click download, and then you can select the file size in terms of the pixel dimensions that you want. And once you've selected that, hit download again, and it will generate the image and save it to your PC. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to learn more about Vexels, what their site is about and what you can use it for, then make sure to check out this video next, which is a full walkthrough of the different features, tools and graphics resources.